Dunk. Hello, Earth to the camera, people of the camera. <laughs> but do I put this on the outside or the inside of my shirt? A little background on me, I grew up in a small town on the island of Oahu, North Shore. When did I start surfing? I don't know. I've been surfing ever since I can remember. My dad and brother and uncles and stuff were always taking me out on surfboards. I mean, obviously I felt like I had some really big shoes to fill with my brother being Makua Rothman, my dad, Eddie Rothman. Growing up, um, like Claw Alexander lived next door and Kyborg Garcia, and these are all like the biggest names in surfing. All of Makua's friends who would come over were all these professional surfers like Andy Irons, I mean, just Bruce Irons. Like, I, I could go on, I could go on about it, but I always felt like, wow, I gotta do that. You know, I didn't really know. No one, no one around me had a nine to five. The whole way this, uh, what this movie's about and what I've been about the past six months is about this YouTube channel, This Is Living, that me and Jack are basically the only production team on this. <laughs> but it's turned into something really great. It all started when me and my friends were already doing these crazy trips around the world. And I was like, we're documenting it, but we weren't putting it anywhere, and no one was seeing it. So it was almost like, or we get a couple shots around in a mag or like on a website, but no one was actually seeing what's going on in our professional surfing lives. And that's when I like took the concept of a YouTube channel, weekly episodes, to show what we do around the world and at home, in our backyard, our daily life and how like movies are made, how you get all these clips, like it's not just good in the surf world, especially for us. Bad things happen, we get skunked all the time, and then we score, which is why it's all worth it. And that is what I wanted to show, the backstory behind all of that, the preparation, the, the shit we go through, the traveling, how really good and bad it can be. And I feel like we're still slowly learning on how to make it, like really show what we do, but I'm really happy with what we've done so far. And we'll do, this is gonna be like a recap of our entire summer. So I hope you guys like it. Yep. So yeah, I had this idea of showing this behind the scenes of our surf travels and professional surfing and the fun we have, the bad we have. And that's when I approached Jack, Jermaine, and I was like, hey yo, Jack, <laughs> quit your job and travel the world with me and we'll make vlogs. And he's like, done. Made our first vlog, did well, and then a couple weeks goes by, first trip straight to Fiji. There Nathan Florence, Co. Smith, Billy Kemper, Ivan was there, 
Yeah, it was Jack's first trip. We've made a couple of videos. I didn't know what to do. Talking to the camera was kind of difficult for me, like daily and like explaining what we do. And we got really fun waves. We had a great time. It was really epic. And then we, we'd go home, get home. We're like trying to make these episodes. Next thing you know, another swell goes back to Fiji. But this was a much different swell. It was huge. We went with my brother, Eli, Nathan and Billy again, Koa Smith, and Kieran Jabor. And we got some really, really incredible waves that I'll never forget. I actually had one wave that I probably will never forget. Just that vision of like paddling into a wave like that, pulling in and then getting smoked. Oh my God, I got so pounded on that wave. Because it wasn't just that wave, you know what I'm talking about. It was all the waves after it. Fiji is an amazing place. Cut to the Fiji part. Cut, motherfucker. Uh -huh. Yeah, Fiji was over, everyone was alive, and we get home again for a little bit, and then Africa is about to get good, so. <laughs> I don't know what the f to say about Africa. We were like, oh my God, Africa's gonna get good, this wave Namibia, longest little left barrel in the world. Not only is it the longest barrel in the world, it is the longest travel 
that you can go to from Honolulu because we looked it up. Windhoek Airport is as far as you can go from Hawaii. True story, look it up, fact check me. 48 hours of straight traveling. Come back from Africa, another just longest travel of my life. Feel like shit for three days, jet lag. And next thing you know, the super swell is going to Indonesia. Pack our shit. No, I didn't even unpack my stuff. I left my bags packed from Africa. Maybe out of a board or two. Headed to Indo, flew to Japan, Japan, Jakarta. Jakarta, Padang, Padang, Gunung Stoli. So it's another super long flight, not as bad as Africa. Nightmare, we get to the third airport, Padang, and we got all our boards there, and the people are like, we were on this little prop plane, this tiny shitty plane, hopping over to Neos, the, the island that we're going to, and they're like, no, your bags are not making it. We're over there just trying to bribe the people. We're like, whatever you want. You want clothes, you want money, we will give it to you if you just let our boards make this flight. And they're like, no. <laughs> get on the plane. Boards don't show up, like maybe one, I think Eli's board bag showed up, that was it. Swell's hitting the next day, so I'm like scrambling, fine, rider guest. He's like, you can use one of my boards. I'm like, sick, gives me this like 5'9", just like this thin, this Grom board. But it was sick, it was, I used it that day, and then our board showed up shortly after, and then we got the rest of the swell. Fucked and drank all night Acted all alright Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Fucked and drank all night Acted all alright Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight <laughs> Cast me far away
Yeah, so that's, well, I've been to Indo, I guess I, it's funny, I can say I've been going to Indo for 13 years now. And that swell was by far the biggest swell I've ever seen. It was scary as shit. I broke every surfboard I had. Also, that boat went over the falls, hit the reef, and knocked this giant slab of reef off and that the waves washed up. It's pretty crazy that the ocean can be that powerful to like move that much rock up a dry shelf or reef. Oh my gosh, I land from the airport, start drinking. I'm just that guy. It's my first beer since home. Oh man, we're getting started. Some random's board bag looks exactly like mine. It's got like no boards in it, because I broke all my boards. A couple beers deep, grab his board bag, get back to the house. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go. No, it was the next day, we went out and partied. Next day, I go to open the board bag, not my stuff. I'm like, where is my surfboards and whose bag is this? I grabbed the wrong board bag. I don't even know whose stuff this is. This is Koa Rothman, and I have your board bag. I thought it was mine at the airport, and I'm in Chengdu, so. Long story short, we figured it out and scored some really good waves, had some fun parties. Tonight, there's a couple of beers, have a quiet one, nothing big. Oh. <laughs> oh. How do you do that? We start the party, motherfucker. Let's look. Let me rephrase that. We are about to hit new levels of crazy. Once again, it's that young fat nigga need to hit the treadmill. Now I change my mind, I pop an X pill. The most line if they say they don't swallow it. That's why they got the nickname Brain Collars. I'm at the Ramada, cooking with a crock pot. Honey walnut shrimp, preheated from my John. I got the stove on, so the room's kind of open. I'm under my underarm, saute onions. Some ladies say I'm cool, some say I'm cunning. Some say I ain't shit, but I know they just frontin'. And trying to hear all that gap. If they come in sideways, I just tell them, who you mad? Your whole style's on the rack. Eating so much booty, you would have thought I was cool.
Big young papa stay handsome. 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 Chickens love me like I make friends up for real. Get home. Tahiti turns on, South Pacific. We're like, whoa, Tahiti, mid-October, this is weird. We gotta go. Packed our stuff again, went straight to Tahiti with the crew, and it was, we scored. It was the most fun, sunburnt trip of my life. <laughs> it was so nice, it was such a good time. Traveling and stuff all summer is the most amazing thing I could have ever dreamed about. You get to meet cool people, surf the most perfect waves ever, all these crazy experiences with your friends. But really what I'm always looking forward to by the end of summer is North Shore, winter time. It's my favorite time of year, right here in our backyard. There's this little wave called Pipeline. <laughs> that is just, I. There's no better wave. I haven't found a better wave on the planet than pipe. There's nothing that compares, you can compare it to. Maybe it's just because where my heart is, you know?
Okay. I have to make Mike, the edit in Mike, seven check days. one, two. Seven we got days. seven days to make this. <laughs> we have nothing made. <laughs> this is stressing me out. Cool. Right. That's a wrap. That's a wrap, people. Stay tuned. We ain't stopping. Season two, I'll never live in season two, motherfucker.